for the past 10 years, our waterways have dropped massively and we, we are really, really, really concerned about it. It's very concerning for traditional owners of this country. It's like our bush life, our bush animals. It's like they moved away because of our water and they see the difference, you know? This place used to be beautiful once upon a time. The water used to be right up here. Now it's low, you know? So everyone's talking about it. Where's our water going to? This water, it, it feeds us, you know? We need the water. I guess there was heaps of bird life when I was little around here. They're not so much now though. They're slowly starting to die off because everything's drying up. Right back here, this river, and I haven't come here a long time. Look, this river, I've been fishing here. And even right full this river, we used to get turtle, bream, and this river. And now I haven't come now today, I've seen this river and go down. Yeah. And I'm concerning about the animals, and I wish medicine and all that. It need water too as well. And we're worried about the sacred site. It's sometimes water go down. Because we've got rainbow sets and they get angry about water too. They need water at the river. If we lose our water, where will we be going? Our, our, our country will be dry. What will we be doing? Um, we don't want any more water being taken. Stop giving licenses. Stop giving license for the land. The land itself, there should be a proper agreement. It's really, really sad to see that water is given out for free. And we as traditional owners, we don't know nothing. We have no idea on this fine line in Mataranka. We have no idea who, who are holding license for water in Mataranka. Um, and our land clearance was enough. We have no idea about that as well. Right? We look at the, the land clearing in Mataranka now. It's, it's terrible. Right? They've taken enough water from us. Don't take any more. You know, we want to see that our river can come back to the way it was before. No, no government come and talk to us to take the water out. They didn't even consult me when I was on Mataraka Allocation Board member. I didn't be recognized to be explained and all that. How how about this water? Like, you know, they should be listening to us to as well. The Northern Territory government come in, sit round the table with traditional owners, sit around the table with them, discuss the matter, talk properly, see what we want. It's our land, it's our water. So if you want to take any more, come and sit around the table with us and discuss it properly. We do want to form a committee because our riverways, they're connected from one country to another and there's different, you know, sacred sites along the river, song lines, and we want to protect them for the future. As the traditional owners, we call for the creation of a First Nation-led governance council for the Ropa River. We urge the government to not allow any further water to be taken from the Ropa River and underground water until we are adequately consulted. This is our future, our country, and our life. We are the next generations, we are kids. Grandkids. Oh,